Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize to any of you who actually have an Aunt Sally. I'm sure she's a wonderful, lovely lady. However, we've included her name in the mnemonic, or memory aid, that I'm about to show you for order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay guys, run the slide. Okay, what you're looking at now is the order of operations in which you're supposed to work a problem that has several different operations in it. It stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. If you don't do the problem in the right order, you end up with the wrong answer. Let's go look at some problems and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we have a problem like this. 5 squared minus 2 times 3 squared plus 4. That's a lot of operations in one problem. But when we have our order of operations, we can break it down into steps we can follow, and it's not so overwhelming. Let's take a look at our Aunt Sally. Hey, Doc, wait! Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Well, parentheses come first. Do I have parentheses? Uh, yes, around the 3 squared. So I need to do that first. Watch out for that boy step, Mac. It's a Lulu. First you have to do what's in parentheses. 3 squared is 9. Then, doing the exponents, 5 squared is 25. 25 minus 9 times 2, or 18, plus 4 is the same thing as 29 minus 18 or 11. 